Alright, so welcome back to another episode of Problem Brothers' new launch series and today we are going to check out this project called Key Residences. Now, if you have not checked out the studio shoot that is done by Sean, do click on the link down below. So we have this very beautiful triple nine year show flat that we're going to share more with you. So why don't we head on in? Let's go! Once, on level 2, you actually have height advantage. based on your current uh, property portfolio, what is the level of risk? Alright, so we are in the show flat right now. Upon entry, you will see the site plan to the left as well as the show flat models. Right, so at this model itself, we are standing right at the corner here and I think it is better for us to start off from this place because this will be the place that you will actually be driving home from Clementi Road. This is along Brookville Drive. Now what the developer has done is that they are actually spending $20 million just to open up this road. Once the entire development has been built, the road will be handed over to LTA. This speaks volume about their commitment to actually increase the connectivity. You will be driving along this stretch and entering into the unit itself. So I think you have a very grand entrance coming into the unit. A lot of thoughtful gestures have been put in by the developers. So if you are to zoom into the car porch area, they have actually put up all this just to block out the headlamps that are shining in from the car, especially when they are entering at night. So I think the developer has added in a lot of very nice gestures just to ensure that all the residents here get to enjoy the peace and serenity. And I think this stems from the fact that the entire design philosophy revolves around the element key. So to quote the architect from ADDP, to design a living space is to actually design space for living. So if you are someone that values privacy, you want a lot of greenery, you want a lot of peace and serenity, then I think this is a development for you. So of course, if you drive, you will have two entryway, either coming from Sunset Way or Brookvale Drive. So to orientate you, where I'm standing right now is actually on the land plot of Maju Camp. So of course, if you are to choose stacks that are facing towards the Maju Camp, you will have the unblocked view overlooking into the Maju Camp. But do take note that Maju Camp is actually seated on this land plot. So if you kind of want to overlook the entire Manju camp, I think you will only get a glimpse that is starting from level 6 onwards because they have some multi-story car park right here. So if you are on the lower floor units, then I think you will have all these greeneries. But otherwise, if you want to have a truly unblocked view, I think you have to choose from either level 6 or 7 and above to give you a better unblocked view overlooking the entire Manju camp. So of course, if you move slightly closer towards this area, now this is the road that will lead towards the Sunset Way Landed Enclave. So of course, this road will then be shared with the residents that are staying at the Sunset Way Landed Enclave as well as the freehold condo called Clementi Park, which is situated just right beside. So if you have to take a look at the site plan as well as the map, you'll notice that Maju Camp will start to converge around here and this is where the entire PIE will turn towards this path and naturally, you will tend to get a little bit of noise that is coming from the PIE. So what I think the developer has done brilliantly is to ensure that there is a bit of gap so as to reduce the noise a little bit. They have actually put in all these facilities that are stacked around here so that uh, residents at stack number 3, 4, 7 and 8 do get a bit of distance away from the entire PIE. And I think these are very well thought out by the developer as well as the architects. So I think it is heartening to know that the developer as well as the architect have taken all this into consideration when they are designing the entire landscaping of the project. Now, even though we are situated deep inside the lander enclave, I think what the developer have done is that they have incorporated a lot of facilities for residents to enjoy. I don't think you really need to go out and far beyond other than food options, but otherwise you have a lot of facilities that your family can enjoy over here because you have the media room where you can sing your karaoke late until the end of the night and you have very nice features like the mound with slides that is almost like the... what do you call that? the Teletubby hills so I think all these greeneries with the climbing cleats, bouldering walls, spring sliders, the labyrinth. I think this is an area where your kids will really, really enjoy. And the landscaping are done very beautifully because you have a lot of different undulating grounds. So I think this is a great area where you and your kids can enjoy your weekends. And if you notice, the entire generator set as well as the bin center, they are all concealed at the basement level. So that is not really too much of a concern, unlike some of the developments where you are overlooking into the bin center as well as the generator. 
generator set. So all these are very thoughtfully planned out for. Now, of course, for this huge project, it comes with a tennis court as well as a basketball court. So naturally, for block number two, stack two as well as stack three, you would do get a bit of sound when residents are playing basketball or even tennis. So if you are okay with the sound, then you know you can go for these two options. So coming towards the corner of the entire development, so this is where your function room are, where you have two function rooms, the clubhouse as well as the gym that overlooks the entire stretch of greenery as well as the swimming pool and you have a reading room as well as a library so I think this is a great communal area barbecue deck has also been thoughtfully placed at the corner so residents don't get too much of the smell as well as the sound coming from the crowd that are gathering around this area so I think this is a great landscaping for your friends and your families to enjoy now if you notice, Key Residences is also situated uh, in close proximity to Beauty World. Once Beauty World transformation takes place, you will also have increased connectivity where you have the Cross Island Line as well as the entire bus interchange and rejuvenation of the shopping mall that's going to happen right around the Beauty World and Cliff. Now we are within very close proximity to Bukit Timah Nature Reserve as well as a short drive away to Botanic Garden. So I think in terms of location, if you do drive, then I don't think this is too much of an issue for you. But otherwise, I think what I would have hoped for being in a very private area if there are retail outlets right here provided that it is well governed and well made then I think this will be a very beautiful place because this is almost like a township of its own but I think what is lacking is the retail outlet but given the rise of all the delivery options that you have I don't think that is a huge compromise Alright, so I hope that gives you a good glimpse of what to expect when you come over here as well as to give you a good glimpse of the kind of things to look out for if you are considering a unit right here but otherwise, why not we head over and join Sean where he is at the show flat right now. Alright, so George has shown you guys a brief overview of key residences as well as talk a little bit about the site map. So let me show you guys some of the site models that you can find here in key residences. Of course, for show flat units, not all of the layouts are provided for viewings. So some of the layouts that you can view over here are the type B2 layout, which is the two bedroom plus study, a type C5 layout, which is a three bedroom plus utility and yeah, and lastly, a type D3 ground floor unit, which is a four bedroom type. So of course, at key residences itself, it has a smart home features. For example, a smart doorbell. So essentially, you can see who is at your doorstep and also communicate via your mobile app. So you also have a smart gateway which means that you can connect your smart home features into your mobile app system itself. A smart lock feature, smart aircon, even booking of facilities are through your mobile app. Alright, so let's check out 2 bedroom plus study, B2 layout. And before you head into the show flat, right outside you can also find a very detailed overview of the layout. And I think the two bedroom study is very uniquely placed because you have this kind of storage area system right at your foyer area. So at the bottom you have your shoe cabinets and also your distribution box neatly tucked away in this area. And there's also a pocket over here for you to put your mini belongings and keys so that you can have easy access to them right before you head out. So as we enter in, there's also been storage that has been well consumed. So one thing to note is that all of the unit types in key residences, they have their own storage systems, which means that even the smallest layout, for example, the two bedrooms do come with storage spaces as well, which I think is very generous for the developers because nowadays for two bedrooms, it's rare that you find a good storage spaces. At this corner is also where you can find your washer and dryer with shelvings provided. So it also acts as an additional wardrobe space as well. So over here is your common bathroom fitted with Hans Grohe shower set and also porcelain wall and floor tiles. And the two bedroom plus studies, you also have this very nice enclosable kitchen with two induction cooker, a sink. And one thing that we really love is that you get this glass panel that overlooks your living and dining area space and your balcony as well. So for units at key residences, they have either the unblocked landed view or the greenery view at the side. So this means that as you're cooking up a storm, you also can get to enjoy the view right outside. So you also have Bosch oven that has been provided. Storage spaces has also been very thoughtfully planned because you have this very unique drawer system here which allows you to fully utilize even the deepest end of the storage spaces. So the living and dining space is also in great size. You can fit a four-seater over here and you still have a great distance to the TV set. And what we feel that you can better utilize the balcony space is that you can actually deck out the balcony space and bring your dining set outwards. Zip tracks and also blinds have been approved. So essentially, you can really maximize the outdoor living space as well. So for the two bedroom plus study layouts, this is where you can find your study room area. So it's in great size. Of course, I think if you want to utilize this as additional wardrobe space, it can be done up as well. So let's check out the first common room. 
So the first common room is size at 9 square meters, which means that you can fit in a queen size bed here and you still have additional space for a side table. You have really large windows that provide natural light coming into the unit to brighten up the space. Of course, for condominium developments, wardrobe space and aircons will be installed for you. So the master room side, you have a queen size bed that has been fitted in here and you have space for two sides table and a walkway space as well. So I think you can utilize this space to install your own like TV set so that you can rest and relax and also enjoy your TV shows in the master room. And one very unique thing at Key Residences is that you have this very unique Juliet window that has been installed at all of the bedroom types. So this actually mimics a kind of balcony-like feel over here even at your master room. There will be sliding doors provided so not to worry for that. So the master room also comes with its own attached bathroom which is slightly in a grander version than the common bathroom. We have a shower set that has been installed, rain showers, there has been also additional storage spaces installed over here as well as at the bottom. One thing to note for this is that there are no windows over here. So the developers have given a vent system to expel the moisture in the master bathroom. So now let's head out to check out the C5 layout which is the 3 bedroom plus utility and yard. Alright, so welcome to the Type C5 layout which is the 3 bedroom plus utility. It's one of the most popular layouts here in Key. So starting in the foyer area itself, you can find your additional storage area right over here as well as the carpentry works all done up with the pocket system that we have seen earlier at the 2 bedroom plus study. And neatly tucked away over here is where you can find your living space. And let's head into this area, the kitchen side, which is one of the highlights of the Type C5 layouts because just look at the space over here. I think it's very rare for 3 bedrooms to have such a generous space for cooking. You have this huge dry kitchen tabletop over here and with a glass panel installed which means that you can cut your vegetables and at the same time enjoy your Korean drama over there. And the kitchen is also very generous with 3 open flame burners by Bosch and also an oven right at the bottom that has been installed. Top to bottom storage spaces and just head on back over here is where you can find the balcony space and just check out the generous size over here. One very unique thing is you can actually shift your dining table right outside here so if you're someone that enjoys that kind of alfresco dining table then this layout is great for that. So one thing to note is that you have this huge area over here which means that you can shift your sliding door to the right and you can expel your fumes as you're cooking up a meal for your loved ones. So as we head on back to the living area, you can find a blank wall over here but of course the actual unit comes with a full height door which means that you can install a TV wall over here or a TV feature wall. Alright so now let's head on back to check out the rest of the layout. So for the two common rooms, they are sized at 9 square meters which means that you can fit a queen size bed in there and one very unique thing that you'll notice in two of these bedrooms is that there are Juliet windows installed which is one of the signature ID designs at Key Residences. So in this corner here is where you can find your utility yard as well as the WC area here. So the utility room can be used as additional storage area and if you have a living helper, you can convert this room into your own maid's room. There has been window installed which is quite a rare find in newer developments for the yard area to have nowadays. Behind me is, is where you can install your washer and dryer system. And even the WC is decently sized with a shower set already installed. So now let's head on back to check out the master room. As we head on over to the master room, it's also in a very spacious layout. You have an area that is dedicated for your vanity tabletop. And of course, you also can choose this to be your additional wardrobe space. But do take note that this is only found in the larger three bedroom type layout configuration. Alright, so the master bedroom also comes with the additional balcony space, which I think is very unique. If you are selecting units that are faces towards the Maju campsite, you get this very nice luscious greenery view depending on the level elevation that you choose. Of course, if you are facing towards the other side, you get this very nice unblocked landed view side but you do get a little bit of the western sun coming in from different parts of the year. But one thing to take note is that you have, of course, a proof balcony screen that can be installed to combat the western sun. So now let's head on over to look at the Type D3 layout which is the 4 bedroom plus utility. So the show flat sites provides a ground floor unit so let's head in to check out the space. So as we enter you'll be greeted with this 3.5 meter ceiling height. So this can only be found on the ground floor units. It is sized at 1475 square feet. Now the square footage does not include the airspace but the developers have priced a slight premium for the additional airspace. And the living and dining space is in great size but as we head on back to the balcony space if you do wish to utilize the balcony space as your additional dining space that can be doable as well if you're someone that's into alfresco dining but of course the developers have turned this 
into a second kind of living area. So now let's head on back to check out the dry kitchen area. So the dry kitchen tabletop is also very nicely positioned because it overlooks towards the living and dining area. This space can also be utilized as your informal kind of dining area for your friends or your guests. Wine chiller has been placed at the bottom. Now if you do need additional countertop space, there are more at the back with the sink. Spaces like this has also been placed for you to put your cups or your wine glass. So at the back, there's also the small kind of countertop area installed. So if you do have a coffee machines, you can place them over here because there are power plugs already installed. So additional storage spaces over here has already been installed. So you can actually pull them out and you have your fridge and freezer that has been neatly concealed as well. So now let's head on back to check out the wet kitchen area. So the wet kitchen area is installed with three open flame burners. There's also a space for a dual door fridge. This is where you can find your washer and dryer. Uh, personally, I feel that I think for a four bedroom layout, I kind of do wish that the wet kitchen area is slightly in a grander version. But of course, I think if you do not do much cooking, this size is definitely very decent. So at the back of the kitchen area is where you can find your WC and also the utility area with windows actually installed already. So this area is great if you do wish to convert this into maids rooms. So now let's head on back to check out the rest of the bedrooms. So along the hallway space, this is where you can find your additional storage room area and a common bathroom over here as well, which is done up in the similar design as the one that we have shown you in the Type C5 layouts with window actually installed. And on this side, this is where you can find your Junior Master bedroom. Stepping into the space, the Junior Master has been fitted with a queen size bed, but I think if you want to extend it to a king size, it definitely is doable. And the Junior Master comes with its own attached bathroom space. Now this bathroom is not a Jack and Jill concept, so the Junior Master essentially has its own privacy and its own bathroom as well. So the Junior master also has a Juliet window thought right over here and I think it's great because you can overlook towards the unblocked landed view on this side and it mimics this kind of like balcony like structure in your junior master as well so moving on to the next bedroom the developers have designed this as a study area and one thing to note is that the bedrooms are in smaller size so you can only fit in a single size bed or a super single size bed I think a queen size bed will be a little bit of a stretch and one thing that we have noticed is that the high ceiling is not only found in the living and dining space but it extends to the bedroom spaces as well so let's take a look at the other bedrooms the developers have designed this as a bunk bed kind of concept so if you do wish you can actually convert this space into like a proper bedrooms the signature Juliet window has also been installed over here so now let's head on over to check out the master room so moving on to the master room, it has its own walk-in wardrobe and I think the position is absolutely great because you do get a level of privacy, it does not overlook directly towards the balcony space and it also does not face directly towards the main door. So it's very neatly tucked away in this corner that directly links to your master bathroom. So let's come and check it out. So the master bathroom has its own bathtub space which just goes to show how grand the four bedroom is. Window ventilations of course and also a rain shower as well. Now the master bathroom also follows the same premium finishes as you see in the three bedroom types with plenty of storage spaces on top and as the bottom as well. So now let's check out the rest of the master bedroom space. So the master room has been fitted with a queen size bed. Of course, if you wish to extend to a king size, that's definitely doable. And at the back, there is this vanity tabletop space, which I think the missus is gonna love. And since that you have this great length in the master room, you can actually consider installing a TV feature wall as well. So I think it's very welcoming that the master room also has its own balcony space. So this gives you like a little privacy area that you can hide away from your kids if you just want a little bit of the alone time. Uh, so we've come to the end of our show flat tours right here at Key Residences. Now once again, this is a development jointly developed by Hoi Hub Sunway sitting on a triple nine years leasehold. If you'd like to find out more information, do click on the link right down below where it will redirect you to our editorial page as well as the studio new launch analysis that's being done by Sean. So I do hope that you enjoyed the show flat tour with us. My name is George Ping. Shante. Problem, Problem brothers, brothers, always, always happy, happy to show you the place. place.